Whirly Birds and Night Owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to Rimworld. We are about to get attacked, which is, you know, not, not the great way. Is there something called the nose? You are the nose. Hmm. <laughs> that would be an interesting person to get for sure. So yeah, we're about to get attacked, and it's not looking too good, although they were trying to break this. Maybe we should try to claim this. Hold on. If we claim this, will, there, will they actually go and attack that now? Because I would prefer that. Let's see. Let's just claim that as well. Maybe they'll go attack that. What else can we claim so I can just ignore this for a little while here? Let's see. Let's claim that. Let's claim that. Let's claim this as well. And maybe they're gonna, you know, avoid us, hopefully. I don't know. Let's just do that as well. And I think we already have this, but oh, yeah, we do. Yeesh. So we do have a few wooden buildings. That's not wooden. These buildings over here are the we have to watch out for. We have everybody up right now, because hopefully they'll be able to take care of things. Agara, we did wake up equipping a gun. A teeny, what are you doing? You're hauling steel. Okay, good. We're trying to build sandbags. Not so sure if we're gonna get there, but uh, we're gonna try. And let's see, Agara, you have a gun now? You do have a gun, so come over here. We're gonna try to use what we have available to us just to you know cover up a little bit penelope over there and we have one more person links right up over there we can maybe hide in the door not so sure how well it's gonna work obviously we can't go over here and hide you're gonna attack mm. Mm. attacking the solar generator all right you know what robin come over here if we can if we can you know shoot from all the way over here that would be really really nice who is not moving? Moo, you are basically stuck here. I mean, we kind of sort of have the things in place, so go ahead and hide there. Morgan, you should be building. I guess you're not. Lumi over there. Actually, we should just separate them. Yes, let's separate them a little bit. These guys are definitely trying to build, though. Which is good, because that way we can maybe protect ourselves. Somewhere on go over there. Link's over maybe here. Sure. And is anybody else missing? Agara is coming. Itini is coming with some steel. Good. You can come over here and hide there, and hopefully that's going to help out. I don't know. Marbles. Wait, is everybody going over there? Power conduit. They're all attacking this. These things over here. Igniting. I mean, I'm not really hurt about them setting our power on fire. That's, I'm okay with that. It's, you know, obviously not ideal, but it's, it's kind of what we have to do sometimes. All right, Itini, what are you up to? You're resting. No, I don't think so. Where did Ty go? Because he just peaced out. No, 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 no. I don't think so. You come over here. You are going to fight, dude. You are going to fight, and you're going to like it. Compost, where are you're building the sandbags. Works for me. And somebody else is missing. Colson. Hauling steel. Hurry up, dude. Hurry up, because they're already here. And uh oh, Compost. Hi, dude. I know you're trying to build this, but just hide. Come over here and just do that there. Colson, I need you to drop that and come over here. Um, sure, yeah, let's go over there, make sure that you can shoot somebody there. Okay, we got somebody. Poor Campos got shot in the head. Ouch. Ouch. That's too bad. Oh, yeah, we did. Ooh, we killed a Luciferium addict. It would be nice if these, guys, if these guys can all just finish off the sapper here, who seems to be a little bit too dangerous. There we go. Good. And can you two finish this guy off, or Lee? I guess nobody's actually finishing Lee off, huh? Well, let's grab everybody here. Everybody here, finish Lee off as soon as possible, because Lee is getting way too close. Campos just got another headshot. We might have to move Campos far, far away before he ends up getting killed. And ouch, ouch. Okay, I think we just shot ourselves, didn't we? Yeah, okay, you're gonna move back, dude. You're gonna move back just because it seems like we're shooting our own people now, and that's not so good. Can we? Why are you unhappy? Oh, we killed your mother! <laughs> um, I'm sorry, she was getting too close for comfort and she was threatening us, so we had to kill her. It, it just happens sometimes, you know? Oh boy, and Lumi, how are you going? You got shot in the torso. Besides that, you're kind of okay. Are we going to kill it? Ooh, please don't kill the nose. I would like to keep the nose if possible. Colson's not looking so good right now. What happened with you? Torso shot. Okay, I'm going to move you back. Uh, I don't know. I have nowhere to move him back. Let's see. Let's move you back over here just because I don't want you dying anytime soon. You are very, very useful for us. And they're fleeing already. Nice. Colson, move up. Let's try to kill somebody else. Oh, man, we killed the nose, you guys. That was, um... Not what I planned. That's really not what I intended. Can we go up there and actually get somebody else? We're still shooting. Good, good. Can we get Sky? Can we get somebody, please? And we're trying over there. Okay, go this way. Go this way. Try to get Sky because Sky is basically lagging behind a little bit. All right, everybody, let's move up. Try to get somebody. We need another prisoner. It's like it's, I feel like it's about time to get another prisoner because we already recruited one and we have an extra bed, of course, and we might just kill Sky. But you know what? That might be okay. Is anybody actually really? Move up. Move up if you can. Ouch, that was a big shot. Let's see. You're basically stuck. You might have... Yeah, you're dead. Okay, well, rip, and we didn't get anybody. Oh, somebody's really happy about that. Were you even good? Mm, not so much. All right, so we have some more... Ooh, weaponry. Don't mind if I do. 
and that I mean we took a few hits but overall that was pretty pretty good compared to what we're usually used to here and we have our first EMP grenades which means well it doesn't mean anything but I have a feeling that very soon we're gonna get uh, raided by some mechanoids which isn't gonna be good also Allie's gonna be in a very very poor mood for a very long time now and we're gonna have to make her high so Allie where are you we're gonna have to give you some let's see not luciferium we're gonna give you that's where I saw it. there we go Smoke the smoke leaf, that way you can be happy. We might even have beer for you, you know, so you can do that later on. But yeah, I think we'd leave the, um, all this, like, just like that, because it seems like it works for us, so that's good. <laughs> At least we have some kind of defenses going on for us. So hopefully, it doesn't look like we're actually getting treated, so let's see who's actually really bad off. You're not that bad. You're really not that bad. You're kind of okay as well. Okay, so you know what? We're actually not that, Oh, You're bleeding a little bit more than I would like. Yeah, you're having minor blood loss. Where are you? And your wife, business person, I don't even know what her fiance, there we go, is also bleeding pretty badly. Well, not that badly, but not as badly as you, I should say. Somebody is our. Oh, come on, Moo. Wake up. Wake up. Look, I know you don't have a hand, and you're going to be like, oh, why do I have to treat this person? Bleeding to. Okay, maybe bleeding's going down a little bit. There we go. Compost took care of it. Thank you, Compost. And Major Breakers. Oh, Minor Breakers now, and Allie. Allie, we're going to have to keep you high for real. Um. Do we have any more smoke leaf? I don't see any more. Kind of unfortunate, because we could really, really use it at this point. Let's see, do we have so many down here? Because we probably do. Wow, we have so many. So many frag grenades, what the heck? Oh boy, we have a lot of things to sell, honestly. So we should probably try to get some traders coming in here so we can get rid of some of our stuff. All right, so who is our best talker at this point? Let's see, Warden, we have Penelope. Why is Lumi a warden? You should not be a warden at all. Penelope or Bennett? Penelope, come over here. Wait, are you able to talk? Rib, left hand. Um, <laughs> don't know if either of those affect us. Bennett, what's going on with you? Right arm, right, uh, left leg. Oh, ooh, ooh. Right leg, excuse me. Um, well, it doesn't affect your talking, so come over here. Actually, she's probably better off, isn't she? Come over here and let's trade with... Uh, not either of those guys. Let's trade with... Who the heck? What are these names? Tribe, uh-huh. I could have sworn for some reason that was a tribal name, but I guess it's not. And what What are you guys- Oh, they have nothing else to do, so they're mining. Fair enough. All right, Penelope, we're going to go ahead and trade with these guys here, because I feel like they've been over here before. Let's see. Huh? Wasn't it cheaper before? <laughs> well, I guess never mind. I thought, you know, we could do this, but apparently we're, either, we're either not good friends with them, or our- or Penelope just really, really sucks at her job. Whatever the case, we cannot do any trading. So we're going to have to, you know, just try to do things here. Oh, I see them. Haha. -ha. 43. Okay, we have more than enough. Allie, I know you're sleeping, but please do this before you actually go back to bed. And cow cows? Moo and Lynx are fighting. Oh, my gosh. Cows? Or, or I guess... Oh, no, there's definitely cows. Um... I, I, I guess... They are a pair, and they'll give us milk, so sure. Let's just put you in the move. Oh, man, that's actually dangerous. We need a new area for the cows just because they really can't fight back if they're attacked. Not like the buffalo. So we're going to have to, yeah, new animal area. We're going to rename this one not-moofalos. Okay. And we're going to make sure that this these guys are in the not-moofalos area, and that's going to be... Joan Erie, expand the not move those area. That's gonna be, doo -doo 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 -doo. I guess, right in here. This is a pretty big area, and they have plenty of grass in here to eat. So sure, hopefully that's gonna be good for us to you know protect them from everything else. That way we can use them to our advantage. Right. So this guy over here, I think let's just <laughs> let's just check that off just in case. But this guy over here is acting as wait what? Why can we see this now? Whatever. This guy over here is acting as a model, I remember that, and we have to basically just continue researching until we get our thermal generators. Unfortunately, it seems like Moo uh, was too busy getting beat up, so that research was not happening. Hopefully, though, we'll get it done soon.
We have finally finished the research for geothermal power, thank goodness. Because right now we are in the middle of a cold snap, and so all of our plants basically died. We're not going to have five meals for a very long time, it seems. We should be moving on to smithing so that we can get machining done, because we need machining so we can finally break down... Oh, let me get rid of that. So we can finally break down these guys, because we've had those four forever. Dead for a year, yeah. We need to start breaking those down pretty soon. So... Now that we have exactly what that w what it is that we needed, let's go ahead and start placing it right over here. I think that size was right, wasn't it? Oh, let's see. We did... Maybe I was close, or maybe I actually got it right. I really cannot remember since I deleted everything. But it's good to see that Morgan is on it immediately. We probably need more than one at the same time, because, you know, we are... Uh, this, these batteries are just not looking good, and we have a lot of lighting off, so I kind of want to turn all the lighting on just to make it look, you know, kind of nice and livable. And people are having dark rooms, so they're probably not as happy as they should be. So, we're going to build two of these, and... Oh, a party. Well, okay, fine. We're going to get just one done for now so that everybody can go and enjoy the party, because it seems like, you know, moods are... I mean, they're okay. Allie's isn't, because she's... She's just bummed overall. It looks like she's actually starving, yeah. She's bummed that her mother died. I mean, fair enough, that makes some sense, but her mother's a raider. She has to come to understand that at some point, but she just doesn't. Hopefully somebody will actually finish this guy over here. We have been mining quite a lot of steel, so we should have as, well, all the steel that we need, actually. Yeah, we are almost done with that. Nice. We have enough. Do we have enough, I should ask? Hmm. Components, yes we do. Perfect. So, this is going to be done in no time. There we go. And we are going to go ahead and build a copy right up over here because, of course, we need that we need just to warm up, basically. Power conduit. I want to do something, I don't know, a little bit like this. Even though, you know, the, these conduits are right along our, um, our attack area, it's a little bit dangerous. But I want to make sure that we have two connections and maybe even more. Just in case, you never know what'll happen. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually bring these all the way through. Let's see. Actually, it's probably not a good idea to do that there because I was gonna bring them through right through there, but that just is gonna look a little bit weird, and I'm not okay with that. We will move conduits around as need be as soon as you know we actually start br bringing in our houses, our regular new houses. And hey, new recruit, we got Colin. Okay, Colin, welcome. You were the one who was um. Not the greatest. You uh, yeah, you're a chemical interest person, but you are social. This is good. This is perfect because we need a proper warden. Penelope, you are free of your <laughs> you're free of your warden duties because I know you probably don't like that too too much. And let's put you in hall too. Ooh, we have a researcher here, so Moo can be free and clear to do anything else. But Colin's actually pretty good at other things. Okay, you're, we're going to leave you at two in case Moo decides to go do something else, just in case. As for everything else, my gosh, you are capable of a lot of things, and my power just went off. That was a little bit weird. Thank goodness my <laughs> my computer didn't go off. Right, so you can hunt. I think that might be fine. I think that might be fine. Construction? You're, no, I don't think I want you constructing at all. Smithing? I mean, we don't exactly have a smith right now, so I'm going to be at a two if we decide to smith anything. Tailoring, I think I just want Ty to focus on that, because he's really, really good at it. And crafting, I think other people should focus on crafting, just because crafting is basically just doing this, and I don't want to take Colin to that kind of thing. So for construction, we're going to put you at a four, in case you can do that. And for hunting, we're going to put you at a one and give you a pretty good gun. Let's see, are you good at shooting? You're better at shooting than some other people, so let's see. We're going to give you a... this one here. And that should do it. Major Breaker is still an alley, huh? Yep. She's basically just like, whatever. <laughs> That's basically her life. Level. She's like, whatever. I just, I just want to sleep right now. My mom is dead. I don't care about anything else. Help me. <sighs> understood. Understood. We'll try to take care of you soon. I mean, we did give her a whole joy time right there. Ooh, we have to copy this over there. There we go. Okay, so now we have a lot of colonists. It's, it's starting to feel good. However, at the same time, it's like, oh boy, we need to build up more rooms because I think we were short one bedroom now and Colin probably doesn't have anywhere to sleep, huh? Let's see. Colin, 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 do you have a bed? No, you do not. Okay. Where the heck are you sleeping? On a chair. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. But yeah, we, uh, we're definitely in need of some kind of bedroom. We can use this as a bedroom. So we're going to go ahead and just build a copy, put it right over here. I mean, we could put it between the tables, but I don't want to. Because I figure that most of the time, nobody's going to be using this room, you know, when it's sleep time. So, I mean, what's, what's the point of having it empty, right? So let's go ahead and do that, and that should work for us. 
Now, we need to build something like this over here, just to, you know, make sure that our rooms are properly sized. So, how exactly are we gonna do this? Because I think what I said was, it was, let's see, like seven on this side, or five, six, seven, this is nine. Oh boy, that's a little bit bigger than I thought, or I think I planned before. So it's gonna be like nine by nine by nine, right? Huh? Hold the phone, what? 11? 11, okay, and, ah, was I doing that wrong? 10, 11, yeah, it's 11, ah, aha. All right, so 11 by 11, we have this at 14 by 14 because that's just, you know, that's the best we can do. We can go for an actual like 12 by 12. That might work, that might actually work. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do that and we're gonna just clear out these ones over here. Now, it's gonna take me a little while to actually build this up properly because I'm going to mess this up and then restart all over again and mess it up again. So just give me a second to get this right. And as soon as we have the, you know, the whole layout down, it should be easy to do again because for some reason, I cannot visualize, but if I do it, I know how to do it. Okay, so I got the general design in and Colin is, what? Why are you breaking? What the? Ah, uh, right, um, chemical interest. Well, that's okay. I mean, I don't care too much if they're doing smoke leaf. If Colin goes and does something else, we are going to definitely capture and use for other reasons. But right now we are working on this guy and it seems like a lot more people need jobs because we have four people who are idle. So what needs to be done? Let's see, Penelope, what are you capable of? Because we need to, you know, give you something to do. Apparently we don't have enough to haul and clean. Maybe we need some more mining jobs. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and set some more mining jobs just to make sure that everybody has something to do. Of course, we can always use more steel. Let's go ahead and just get all of this out like there and maybe all of this there as well as that. And same thing over here. If we get, you know, not steel, I guess it's gonna be okay. So you guys go, be free to go do your, okay, apparently you two, you three do not do any mining. Okay, Agira, Ali, and Lumi. Lumi, 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 you need to be put in four, Agira, four, and Ali. Ali, you seem to be doing nothing. Hmm, maybe we could do an art with an art table? Because it seems like maybe these people can use some kind of other jobs. But for now, we're working on building this. It seems like we're actually taking a little bit longer than I expected, but that's okay because we very clearly need to do this properly. And I like that, you know, there's so many people working on it at once. Maybe we can start training other constructors. Like, I believe we just got one, didn't we? Colin, yeah, is pretty much good to become trained as a new constructor just because they have a little bit of construction skill, you know, but they're broken right now, so can't really work with them. This is why I don't like people with chemical interest or chemical fascination because they're always gonna break and find some kind of drug to do. They're gonna ignore all of their work and just be high all the time. Not okay, <laughs> never okay. Exhaustion on Colin, you know what, I'm not even surprised. We did not finish this, wow. We had a lot of people working on that and we didn't even finish it in one day. That's a joke. Are you guys for real right now? <laughs> Are you guys like actually for real? Like, wh what is this? Hmm. Okay, sure, uh, that, that works for me. I was thinking also we could probably start taking the person out from here and maybe take some of their parts because we might be able to use those for some of our colonists. I know Robin still needs, you know, a lung and we do have that lung. However, we don't exactly have a proper medical room for, you know, that lung to be installed. So unfortunately, we're kind of stuck with what we have right now until we build a proper medical room, which we can't even afford because we don't exactly have silver. So, you know, that's, <sighs> it, it sucks. It definitely sucks. Is this? No, that's not even silver. I'm like, trying to find some more silver somewhere on this map. I think at some point we're gonna have to just dig like straight down into different places. And eventually, I guess we're gonna have to research. Let's see. Do -do 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 -do. One of these guys here. Just so we can maybe try to find some more silver somewhere. Whatever it is, we are gonna need it. And this bear is getting a little bit dangerous. I see a hunting down foxes. Next thing you know, it's gonna be hunting us down. That's not gonna be good. Let's also, you know, mine this guy out because of course all the steel in the world is good for us. So let's go ahead and do that just like that. There we go. And as soon as we finish building this, we're gonna start building, oh, we can see the floor. Oh gosh, that's actually quite fugly. I don't wanna do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and grab the paved tile and actually get this done here. Just so we won't have to see the nasty floor. Mm -hmm. we, I remember that we, yeah, we do have other floors, but I, I just, I don't want to use it for this. I don't know why, it just seems like it's the wrong thing to do. Jade floor, man oh man, do we have to be super, super rich to get that in though. Uh, we could have used something like this, but we don't exactly have slate, so that's just like, hmm. Well, that's too bad. That's too bad that we don't have a lot of things. But there we go, we have our first geothermal generator, and our second one's actually right over here. It's just not connected to anything. 
So let's go ahead and connect it so we can actually fill in these batteries. It looks like they're definitely getting there. So one more and we should be able to do this. Let's see. We're gonna have to put the um some more of these guys, sandbags on this side here. So let's just do the there and that there and we should be good to- oh wow. It's storming. It's a little bit scary though because it is, you know, not just a regular storm. It's with thunder. So that's a little bit terrifying. Alright, so now we can start and build our homes here. And our homes are going to be like on the corners here and here, 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 maybe. I, I figured I wanted to do it some other way, but it seems like that might be a little bit weird, right? Maybe it might be weird. I don't know. We can definitely just draft it out here and see how it goes. So, of course, we want to have like one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Uh huh. So, doe self tamed. Well, okay. I mean, we could always use some more food. Let's put you in not Mufalo's area and make sure that we murderize you soon. Although, we could use, you know, we could breed them and then get more doe or deer, excuse me. Doe, a deer. Oh, no, that's right next to. The oh, wait, it's raining. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, that's right next to the wood. Caravan request, psychoid leaves. Um. Plasteel improvised turret. Where are you? These guys. It's not worth it. It is really not worth it. Especially since it takes us six days to come back. That's super not worth it. So no, sorry friends. As much as I would love to help you, it's just not gonna happen. Right, so as we were saying, we need to, let's see. If this is to be the back wall, it's gonna have to be six. Okay, so six. Two, three, four, five, six, something like that. And then we're gonna have to go using that piece like this uh-huh and then we're gonna go another three like that and then we're gonna go down was it six again six yes so we're gonna go six like there is that too small is that is it just me or is that too small or maybe i'm not even close to finishing it is that what it is hmm hmm so like that one two over there one two three there bring it up like this six there's something weird about this design. It doesn't look right, you guys. It doesn't look right. This is what I was talking about. I always mess these things up. So I have to take it a little bit little and actually, you know, study exactly what I'm doing to make sure I'm doing it right. So let's just start right back down here. This wall, no matter what, is going to have to be six. Okay, we got that. We got that much, right? So this is going to be just street six. Then we need to... Ah, oh, I see the problem. It's actually a little bit different here. Because this isn't where we're supposed to start. This is where we're supposed to start, right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think that's right. It looks right. Yes, that's exactly where we're supposed to start. Aha! Problem caught and problem solved. All right, so we have that there. We have then this piece here and here. Then we go like this. This is straight out. Now, the problem with this is that we're supposed to go this way for this wall here. But we have a door there. So we might have to move that door just to make sure that we have proper rooms here. So let's do something like this. We go one, two out this way. One, two out this way. One out this way. And then we do six over here. So something like three. Is that right? Three, two down. Something like six over across here. Two down. Ooh, is this right? Hmm. And then three like that. Something like that. Oh, something about it looks super weird right now. So whatever I'm doing wrong, I can tell right there. Yeah. We're gonna have to just size these rooms up eh, at a different time. I mean, we could use a bedroom right now, especially since. Actually, never mind. Colin has this bed right here, so we don't exactly. Uh oh. What just happened? That was random. That was actually really random. Right in our fields of uh, strawberry. Wait, is this strawberries? Yes, it's strawberry. Woo! Okay. I was like, uh oh. Did we not end up planting strawberries there? No, we totally did. Thank goodness, too, because we're gonna need a ton of berries. We have plenty of meat, but it's just not good enough for me. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and actually do up some more rooms, kind of sort of like this, and maybe not mess them up. That way, we can have some proper bedrooms for our people and actually be able to move people around, get rid of this massive structure, and have maybe a more space-efficient area overall. Okay, so I figured it out. It took a little while, not that long, actually. It took just a few seconds to actually figure this out. So we're gonna have rooms like this. It seems like it gives us enough space for a bedroom and then separating that from other areas so we can make like sitting rooms and whatnot just in case and maybe even have a little bit of a stockpile zone in every single room if need be. Cause I figure it's nice that, you know, colonists have their own possessions if we want to micromanage that little. I don't know if I want to micromanage that much, but it might be a thing. Also, we have this area in here, which I figure is going to be a hallway that serves between the rooms and then this area here. And I guess people are going to have to go through some pretty big areas just to get to wherever the heck they're going. But this serves as the quote unquote common area. I wasn't so sure if I wanted to have another room in here 
but we might work with that. So let's go ahead and actually lay out some of these rooms because of course we can use some bedrooms already. So we need structure, granite wall, and we're going to start with, I suppose this one. I guess we could probably do the ones in the four corners because that seems like probably the easiest thing to do. That's basically where I started with this. So let's do something like this. They're like little crosses, not really stars what I actually had in mind. But this still works. So let's go ahead and do something like that. It's going to include this building that we already have here, which is why I was talking about actually getting rid of the person that's in there. We um, really don't need them. We really, really don't need them. And they're basically just to up some... I don't know. We could probably use that to rescue somebody if they're really, really close to death. Like we had... Who was it? Somebody was dying of an infection. I think it was Lynx. We could have put Lynx in there if things got really bad. I also want to build in these walls in here because, of course, these are going to have doors in them, which are going to become very useful for us. So let's see. We're going to have a door there and a door. Uh-oh. Not really what I had in mind. Never mind. We're going to go ahead and just place it one there. We're going to have doors, I guess, on this side here because these are not even, which is kind of okay, though, because that means that the beds are going to be aligned 100%. So let's do something like that there, and we're going to have ourselves something like that there. Yeah, you know what? That's probably a lot of building to do, so let's go ahead and let them do that. We are going to swap over the marble here to granite, just to make sure we have enough granite for this, because this is going to take tons of granite. And we're going to suspend that, make sure that we suspend the marble here, and exotic goes... <gasps> no way! Okay, we don't exactly have a trade beacon everywhere that we need one. Yeah, this is... um. This is not good. We need to build some more. So let's see. Can we encapsulate most of our things in like this? I suppose, yeah. So there we go. That's one. We really, really need to start moving things around like big time. Yeah, this is why I want to have rooms kind of sort of like this, kind of sort of like that, because look at the trade beacon. It's one of those rooms for sure. But this is going to be one of the pods that's just surrounding one of, one of our resources here. So that's going to be it for that one. We might leave some room between them or we might even connect them a little bit. But of course, some of them are going to be bigger than others. Some of them are going to be smaller than others. It really depends, and of course some of them are going to be pods within pods because we need rooms for prisoners, but those pods are going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to call them pods just because that's kind of what it's turning out to be, isn't it? But, um, yeah, we have an exotic goods trader, so Ty, I am so sorry that I'm going to have to wake you up. We need to sell the Luciferium, though, as soon as possible. Or somebody's already working on that. Thank you, Atini, with the bowler hat. I think we should probably make you a new bowler hat just because it seems like you're doing a pretty good job for us. Let's see. Oh, that was really good. Why... Why do we force it on? I don't even know. All right, so let's see. Our best talker is going to be Colin. Colin, you are sleeping. I am so sorry. Come here and trade. So hopefully we get some good stuff. Or, oh. Are you high? Hold, hold on. Are you high? You're high. <sighs> I guess this is what happens, you guys. This is exactly what happens when you, uh... When you get a high negotiator. Oh, well. <laughs> whatever. Let's go ahead and sell that. We need that. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to sell a bunch of stuff right now because we need that arm big time. Unfortunately, we don't have much to sell. We can sell the gold, but that's never going to be enough. How can we get this arm? Because we need so many arms right now. Er, we also need this because that's going to help us out in terms of um, actually killing people when raids happen. We need to, let's see, where are our most expensive things that we need to sell? Like, we just don't need that anymore. Aha! Right here, crafting neuro trainer. Nobody needs that. Do we have another neuro trainer somewhere around here? Didn't did we sell it? Did we keep this one just because we thought we would use it? Hmm. Okay, fine. Let's build a few more of these. We, I mean, we can reinstall them. What are we even doing? Okay, let's just build another one though, because we can definitely reinstall these. So this works. This works for our needs. Let's go ahead and do something like that. There, we're gonna tr just throw another one somewhere over here. Yeah, I don't intend on selling any of that. Ah, there's our silver. <laughs> I was like, we must have silver somewhere. Let's just throw a few here, there, and everywhere and make sure that everything is basically grabbed up in their zones. There we go, something like that. Hopefully we're going to get our builders on that. Let's go ahead and just tell them not to do this. Just hold off on this. We're going to, excuse me. We're going to hold off on all of these things, including the doors. We don't need the doors being done just yet because, of course, these guys are far more important. So you guys, please get to work so we can actually trade things away and maybe that'll even give Colin time to not get be not be so high and there we go we finished smithing perfect so now we are working on machining right so what else are we going to work on after that refining could be good okay I'm going to add refining to the queue sure all right and we are working on all of those I think we must have gotten them in because I don't see anybody I don't know a teeny still working and that's connected good and are we actually done with that we might be done with that all right Colin come over here trade we need to see what we can do now. Okay, so we have more stuff, but we just um, still don't have enough money. 
Aha, that Neuro Trainer is worth a ton. You're not so sure about selling that. We're gonna sell this, sell the Uranium just in case. I mean, I don't, I don't think we're gonna use it. And we're not really using that. We've been holding onto that for like forever. And that's basically just not being used and they want nothing else. Uh-oh. How much is the arm? Can we actually, oh my gosh, we can afford it now if we sell all of our gold. I'm not okay with that. I'm really, really not okay with that. Let's just try to keep some gold. It's, you know, it's never going to be enough, but it is what it is. Eventually, we'll trade for some gold as soon as we become really, really rich. But for now, we are particularly not rich. So we're going to have to just do this. End up with no money. Just keep our gold. And hopefully, eventually, somebody will come around and be like, Hey, what, guy, what do you guys have? Oh, lots of clothes. I'll buy that because apparently nobody wants our clothes. So, they, oh, actually, we can keep a lot more than our gold. A lot more of our gold than I thought. So let's go ahead and just do something like this to make sure that we can save as much as is possible 362 silver about to go oh my gosh you guys we need to start earning money all right there we go so we're giving away uh, not that much of our gold honestly so that's okay we have an arm so somebody's gonna get an arm let's just make sure that we haul that inside Colin is already doing it perfect okay so let's go ahead and unforbid that so people can actually build these guys let's unforbid that and unforbid the doors so that our constructors now have work to do thank goodness Whew. Wow, okay, so we have an arm, we have a lung. Maybe some of our people are gonna be okay soon. I, I kinda wanna operate on Robin right now because he needs a jaw and he needs, oh, we need a leg there. And a lung, of course, but um, he really needs some help. We, however, probably need to get our hospital beds first before we actually do that because it might be a little bit too dangerous to do that and be like, hey, you know what, we're just gonna go for it and YOLO and everything's gonna be okay because that's, you know, usually not the case, especially since Moo, not really the best doctor and Colin just broke again. So it seems like we're up for some daily breakage until we run out of drugs. So hopefully we run out of drugs sooner, unless you might just break and just try to eat because that is also a thing that happens. Wonderful. Okay, so we are definitely getting to building. It's, um, you know, it's not as fast as I would have liked, but... Yeah, we need to start training her, just to maybe busy her up. So let's go put her too, too sharp. And hopefully that'll busy her up as soon as she's not breaking. And wow, the traders went out of comms range that quickly. Oh, thank goodness we got it fast enough. Ooh, there's some meat out there. Are we in need of meat? Well, that looks like I'm not really, but I think I'm going to go get some just because we can always busy our people up. And it <gasps> Spicy meat. Oh, yes. Let's do it right now while it's raining. Everybody go. Oh, they're all sleeping. Hmm, hunters, lynx, 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 lynx. We're gonna put lynx, compost, tie, and... Robin? No, oh, Robin can't really run that fast. So lynx, compost, tie, and someone random. You, since you were breaking. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna hunt the spicy meat and hopefully get some because, oh my gosh, would that be really, really good for us? And we'll be able to, you know, Ignite the fires pretty quickly. Let's just make sure that they only hunt when it's raining. Okay, there's one more left. Do not... Okay, whew. I was like, do not finish that off. Where are you going? No, you're gonna actually murder that thing. Like, right now. Right now, okay? Right now. I know you're really, really bad at shooting with that thing. Which makes no sense because before that was... Wasn't that called, like, a... Some kind of hunting rifle. I don't even remember. Colin, seriously. Are you for... Okay, come, come here. Come here. Mm-hmm. Shoot it. Are you for real right now? This- Oh my god, you are actually really, really bad. Well, you're practicing now. Okay, there we go. Good job. And somebody else can get that then, because seriously, that was super pathetic. Oh, man. Never sending you hunting again. Hey, a turkey. Let's go and get that. And we also have this over here, which that could be a little bit dangerous, but, you know, we're close to home, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's go ahead and hunt the boar as well, because that's going to be some good meat. And we can even go for some more spicy meat, but that- Usually doesn't turn out much meat, so I'm not, you know, I'm not like, hey, let's go ahead and hunt that one. Yeah, no, not really interested. Ooh, more turkeys. Let's go for that. And hopefully our builders can get back to building pretty soon because, you know, I would still like to see this complex getting built up so they can get rid of this massive, ugly building and actually build in nice little pods and have a nice little area that looks kind of like a beehive, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I don't know. We're trying, though. We're trying to use as much space as we can. Right, so... What was I saying? As much space as we can before, um, you know, we grow way too big for ourselves. But right, I was going to say that we should probably take this person out right now, but what beds do we have on which we can operate? I mean, we can turn this into a medical bed, sure. All right, Moo, what are you up to? You are doing that. Okay, we need another doctor then. Morgan, you're a 9. Coulson, you're a 10. Coulson, you are probably constructing, huh? No, you're actually cooking. Okay. Can you... 
Open this. Coulson. Open this. Uh-huh. Go for it. Hopefully somebody else is not going to do that because we don't want that happening. So Coulson, go for it and... Let's see. C. Okay, C. Come here and let's... Oh, we have to capture you. You are a prisoner, aren't you? Alright, so this is going to be a prisoner medical bed. C. You are going to get removed. Let's see. Add bill... Yeah, no, I don't think so. So we're going to get your, let's get a lung and a kidney. Uh-huh. It's going to anger who? <laughs> is this person a friend? Is, hold, hold on. These are friends? Oh, well, they're not going to get that mad, are they? If they do, we'll just try to pay them off somehow, even though we basically have no money. Whatever. So, I mean, we could probably just kill this person and be done with it, because it seems like harvesting them is probably going to anger a friend. So we're going to just um, euthanize. Yeah, I know, I know. Colson, go ahead and capture so we can euthanize this person because I am just done with having them there. Nobody's ever going to buy them. We can't send them out because they basically cannot walk. Wait, that's Colson. I was like, wait a second. Yeah, they can't walk, and that's that's about it. Wow. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We Didn't we have Lusmosa Fairy? Oh, no, we actually sold it, didn't we? Oh, boy. All right, well, we got the money for it. That's all that matters. So hopefully someone's going to go and... Uh, there we go, uh-huh. And everybody's probably gonna get mad about that, but I mean, we had to do it. Okay, probably should have stripped this person also, but whatever. I'm I'm okay with this. So let's see. Are we all upset about this person being killed? Yes. Great. Just great. <sighs> whatever. I mean, we want to take part of this building down eventually anyway, so I didn't really want that to be there because that would just straight up be in the way. Hopefully, Ayano and Dave will join us soon, so that way we can get things done a little bit faster. Atini, what are you doing? Ah, oh. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, what are you doing? So, uh, that's your bedroom, huh? Let's see. Set owner, Etini. There we go. And whoever else was sleeping there, I apologize. I think Etini does have a fiancé, right? Lumi! Lumi, are you actually gonna... Oh, you're working. Good! Well, at least you're working, because apparently your husband is not. Oh, boy. And Allie... Yeah, I think we have to leave her on permanent joy schedule for a long, long time, because it seems like no matter what we do, she's just not gonna be happy for a very, very long time. Right, so let's go ahead and add some more doors in these sides here, just because I figured that this is going to help us get through a little bit faster. We'll eventually swap these over to plasteel when we get enough plasteel, but for now it's going to have to be wood, and uh, I know how dangerous that is, but you know what, well, we, we have to make do with what we have. Wow, <laughs> look at all the animals just sleeping in there. I kind of like that. I did place animal beds. I didn't think they would all sleep there. I just thought it would be the cows, but I guess... Since the Muffalo are able to roam everywhere, they can sleep there as well. That's kind of nice, though. That's definitely kind of nice. So for now, we're going to go ahead and just build up this complex here. Hopefully move in the rooms, get in beds in there, and try to sort everything out to make sure that we have, you know, rooms that have everything they need. Because I don't want people, like, all the way down here eating without a table. They're going to complain. They're going to be mad. We don't want that happening in this colony at all. Especially now that we have so many people. A break? could be deadly and ooh, an item stash opportunity oh my gosh is it free it's free where is it that's close that is definitely close all right so we'll definitely go for that in the next episode because that is it for this episode of rim world if you enjoyed hit that like button and share your support and subscribe if you already haven't but anyways always thank you so much for watching and have an awesome night.